Hello and welcome. I am Nitin Gokhale and I am privileged to have with me today Sri Lanka's new president Mr Gotabaya Rajapaksa a former soldier turned administrator and now the nation's chief executive. Welcome Mr Gotabaya uh, to this interview and uh, I'm really honored and privileged that you have given this time to me. I think perhaps your first interview after taking over as uh, Sri Lanka's seventh executive president. When you actually uh, uh, spoke first after becoming president or after winning the elections, you mentioned that uh, we are equidistant from almost every pass in in this region uh, and uh, you want to be neutral. You want to have uh, perhaps if I am uh, read you correctly national security and national priorities are your first priority rather than you know looking at who you uh, align with or that kind of thing but uh, this question always crops up and that's why i'm asking you is uh, china versus india in sri lanka what is your uh, view on this see uh, i have mentioned this even in my <laughs> acceptance speech yes. that we are we want to be a neutral country that's it right. is possible that there are examples in the world <laughs> where but we know uh, the indian ocean is a very important plays a very important role right. in the present day in geopolitics of course so we are uh, in a very geographically situated in a very uh, strategic location right and all the uh, sea uh, lanes yes. are passing through passing through uh, close to sri lanka mm -hmm. from east to west yes. and you know that the importance of these sea lanes right. because uh, you know uh, when especially when the asia is uh, developing when becoming center of gravity as you is, mentioned yes yeah. and more they their produce has to go to the world right. and at the same time when you develop you need energy right. the energy resources still is in middle east yes. so that it has to come then the minerals are in africa right. those those things has to, to come, come from there yeah. so this is very important yes so but the the uh, thing is these lanes must be free for the whole world any any country so the no no country should control these sea lanes yes. because that's very important and, and uh, the, when i say neutral I, we we don't want to uh, ban wagon one country right. or get into a balancing <laughs> act, act. Somewhere, yes. we don't want that that is what i said neutral we don't want to be we we, we are so small and we can't uh, survive uh, if you get into this uh, uh, balancing act or business of choosing one side, side. Mm. we can't do that mm. so that the and we don't want to get in in, in between this power struggles of superpowers or right. power yeah. world powers, world powers yeah. so uh, basically um, we want to work with all the all the countries mm -hmm. and we don't want to do anything which will harm any other countries now for that matter we don't we understand the importance of uh, the the indian concerns right so we can't Uh, specially act uh, or or engage um, in any activity which will uh, threaten the security of india right which so is that, well said yes that that we have uh, we, we we know that mm. and and uh, we are in in the region you know uh, india is a big power mm. is a big country right. and we, so though we want to be uh, independent sovereign nation Absolutely. that's very important oh, of course mm. and mm. but we don't want to get involved we have we have to understand uh, the other uh, point of view of other point countries of view of other countries right. and act accordingly right. so mm. but uh, everybody wants today the most important thing is economic development true right True. so that you can uh, for to do that mm -hmm. you can't be uh, you know in a restricted uh, zone mindset also you have to open up uh, while protecting your country while protecting your industries while protecting your businesses still you have to open up to get 
uh, you know, involved mm -hmm. in the world right. economy. Exactly. So for that, we are ready. Right. So that is why we want to get assistance from India, from Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, China, right. Japan. Mm -hmm. And this is very important. And But then you have to face the reality. True. So if... Uh, in in our case, our involvement with China mm -hmm. the last few years, yes. especially during Mahindra Rajapaksa uh, government, government period, mm. it's purely commercial. Absolutely. But mm. uh, because of uh, because of from the very beginning, world analysts, the geopolitical <laughs> analysts, yeah. put us also into the. Orbit. <laughs> Orbit. So, <laughs> even Hambantota uh, uh, yes. Harbour, right. uh, they tr tried to show as a part of the uh, ring, military, of, military, ring of pearls, uh, yeah, so that pearls, yes, uh, which, right. which uh, uh, you know, circles the uh, India. Yeah, yeah. But in our, this thing, we, it was not so actual, the requirement for, for ours, we understood and we were never to give the control of the port to China. Yes. So that was a mistake. Unfortunately, yes, the, the uh, previous government previous gave it. The previous government yes. gave it 99 years. Right. Mm. And even China, though China is a good friend of ours and we need their assistance to develop, I'm uh, not afraid to say that was a mistake. Right. So will you revisit and, that? Uh, and I request. I will, I will request them to renegotiate and come with a better, uh, to assist us. I mean, today, uh, the people are not happy on that deal. Correct. Because they, they, it, we can't think of only two, one year, two year, five years. Think, we have to think of the future. What will happen? To know? the next generation, <laughs> maybe, or the generation next, after. Next, next yeah, generation. exactly. So, it's, it, it's our, you know, giving a small land, for investment is a different thing. To develop a hotel or, or commercial uh, property, or, property mm. or build, uh, this is not a problem. Right. That's no, no issue. But a, a strategically important, mm. economic, uh, important, economically important uh, harbor, or harbor or, yeah. giving that is, it's not acceptable. Right. Because uh, that we should have the control. So, um, so we have to renegotiate. Can giving a terminal for the operation, commercial, it's a different. Giving some location to build a hotel is a different. Right. Thing. But not the control uh, of the port. Not like the I'm control talking. of a mm. very important. Strategically very stra important. Yes. Very mm. important exactly. uh, place mm. is it's not acceptable. No, no, I'm glad you clarified so, that, yes. So that is my position. Mm. And also, we want to work with India very closely. Right. And uh, we want to work with China as well. As but well. Mm. Uh, diplomatic relations, economic relations, that right. everywhere, yes. India is working with China very right. closely. I of know when yes. Indian investment goes to China, Chinese investment come to India, like that. We it want here, uh, yes. investments and right. help us, but uh, we have we we will not do anything to do with uh, you know we don't want to get involved in military and uh, geopolitical, geopolitical rivalry political which you rival. mentioned yeah, yes exactly. as I mentioned mm. so That's right. and uh, so and the other thing what I want to tell the world powers right. the others yes. like India. Indonesia, uh, Singapore, Japan, Australia, you know, the reality is they are scared of Indian, the Chinese involvement. That's a reality. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's, uh, That's true. But mm. uh, in our point of view, it is commercial. So that we are a small country, as I said, we want foreign investments to uh, uh, improve our economy. So I invite India, Singapore, Japan, especially, and Australia to come and invest here. Right. Mm -hmm. So that don't allow only China to invest. To dominate yeah. the, the so investment. Yes. Come. Uh, uh, that is what these governments must encourage mm -hmm. these uh, their um, private companies right. to come and invest, come and help. Correct. 
us mm. uh, without leaving right. to one country and then grumbling <laughs> <laughs> not doing anything on your own <laughs> oh yes but that is so, all <laughs> and uh, this is my i have i openly say this That's right. because i want that them to come and invest in this country i'm so glad and mm. also uh, we are a small country right uh, as i genuinely we don't want to get involved in these things but please uh, understand that and uh, rather than uh, putting pressure uh, on us understand us and get involved in economic development of this country of, jointly of this country. Yeah, jointly. you there are many ways they can I, i'm not saying oh, uh, only uh, uh, putting money there are so much of take our products right we have tea we have cinnamon we have pepper we have coconut very important and we can uh, assist help in agriculture uh, so these are things that help in education invest in high tech uh, industries right. there are a lot of ways of course. that these so uh, countries will can help so you will liberalize uh, i think the policies also of investment fdi all that i happen. want to cut red tapes i want to cut uh, difficulties in old uh, you know Reg rules and regulations. Uh, I'm doing it for the betterment of the country, and uh, so we can assist. We, I I will create uh, an environment, uh, uh, this investment friendly right uh, environment. Mm. I will create. So I invite them. That's something them. that people should take note of. Yeah. Um, but you are going to India as, uh, on your first overseas visit next week, uh, perhaps. Uh, what are your two main or two or three main points you will talk to India? I I will uh, uh, reassure right. the Indian government mm-hmm. that we will work with the India. We are a uh, India friendly country, and uh, we um, we will not do anything which will harm the security the, interest, uh, the security like interest the or their interest. Mm. And I will request. Mm. to as i said mm-hmm. to help us right. uh, in investments in many fields and also uh, help us in education right that's very important uh, so and also the development of technology so i'm sure you're looking so these forward are to the, this visit uh, yes, you're it, looking forward uh, yeah i know uh, i think um, um, the present the indian government uh, Uh, even prime minister uh, modi has changed how uh, he approached the neighborhood oh yes uh, so i'm sure no, there will be a lot of things to talk about but i'm sure you will have a better uh, conversation with him as you come there but let me just uh, finally let's uh, do two questions one is of course uh, the um, pattern of voting that happened in the elections and you mentioned it very clearly that you would have liked the tamils and the muslims to have voted for you but now that you have been elected you are also a president of the entire country how do you take forward the reconciliation process with the minorities i believe uh, the development is the answer right for the last so many years uh, the tamil political leaders and also the singhalese political leaders were talking about things that which were uh, you know not practical impossible to mm. so only to fool the people right but we should focus on what we can do first you know but give them everybody a good opportunity to live as a sri lankan in this country to get education live a better life get a good job and live uh, in dignity so that i will create that environment let the other political things go on you know that you can discuss and take but you can't only focus on that neglect the uh, well being of the population you what is important is develop those countries develop those areas infrastructure development but we did but we can we have to continue that and push uh, uh, private industries to these areas, areas to create yeah. more jobs in that area and education improve uh, education it means not only the general education but of vocational education develop the because for the long period these youth didn't have the opportunity to 
uh, go to school they were in, they were fighting in jungles mm -hmm. now get them give them some uh, training on right. skill levels improve the skill level yeah. so that they can get into certain uh, jobs right. so create these job opportunities this is my focus develop these areas so that they will get the equal opportunity uh, like so the, the reconciliation others. will automatically happen it, it ha will happen mm -hmm. So the the final question here is this: uh, there is this uh, you know Western narrative about you especially that uh, you are a authoritarian or a, a racist uh, Sinhalese leader, and then the Muslims have a lot of lot to fear from you are coming to power. How will you reassure the Muslims here? I think it it's the perception wrong perception that was created during the. Uh, humanitarian operation during this conflict period. Right. Uh, I th through that I was in the army uh, for twenty years. Yes. Uh, I was fighting uh, as an army officer of this terrorism. Right. Then I uh, retired from the army and uh, went abroad. Yes. I lived nearly twelve years in U.S. Yes. And then when I came back as an as the secretary of defense. Right. So, but then. People uh, recognized me uh, uh, only as the Secretary of Defense. They know only <laughs> exactly. as a Secretary of Defense. That's right. So maybe because of that, they think, okay, this man is authoritarian, and no, I am a disciplined person. That's that right. doesn't mean that, of course, yeah. <laughs> that you are. Uh, uh, you have nothing uh, against the community. I'm no, sure. I, I, I am not again. And I have proved in my action that I am not uh, racist. Or I don't uh, work for only one uh, section of the society. That is why I invited Tamils and Muslims, everybody to join me yes. in developing the country, right. in, in uh, bringing the country up. So, uh, though people... You know that the opposition can uh, or show me as a dictator or authoritarian person or whatever, but uh, I'm not, <laughs> and uh, people will uh, see uh, in my action as you go along. Yes, uh, yes. So, but uh, but I want to tell them to um, join me. In, so, I, and at the same time. Um, I want to tell especially the uh, international media, right. don't go by hearsay things or don't go by rumors right. and don't uh, propagate these things. Understand me, uh, uh, speak to me, meet me and uh, uh, see how I'm doing, how I work right. and give the correct uh, picture of it. It's for the, this is, this is how we are, is a, small country, right. uh, developing country, the people should help us right. not to put uh, obstacles in, obstacles your way. in right. my way. So that, that will not help anybody. Yeah, But those charges that were there against some of your officers, sometimes against you also about uh, human rights violations during the uh, last phase, they still continue to come up once in a while. No, see, war is not a rosy thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> whether uh, you uh, internally fight or whether the Americans come and fight in uh, Iraq, Iraq or, or Afghanistan, Afghanistan or UK come and fight in Iraq and Afghanistan or whatever, yeah. uh, whether it is internal or uh, outside, right. uh, war is not a rosy thing. Exactly. And everything doesn't go uh, very smoothly, you know. But we are a poor country, we are a small, lesser uh, power. So our uh, things are highlighted. Uh, Which more. we spoke even those in those years. <laughs> so the big, the big powers can <laughs> cover up. With, those, get away with a lot of so, murder. Yeah. So that uh, it's very unfair uh, to do that because as a nation we were. I mean, we are Buddhist. We are very peaceful nation. Um, we were living our history is so uh, you know. Uh, Thousands of thousand years goes back to, and uh, we have our own values. Uh, our culture is very rich, very rich, and our. Uh, and I think the existence is very peaceful in that sense. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, 
rather than just criticizing on and I like even the Tamil diaspora to forget about the these things. Nobody is benefited out right, of this. Right. So nobody will get. So we must work together uh, to develop our and help the people in the country, irrespective of their and and I'm I'm sure if, if the minority community uh, work uh, understand this, then it, only if they do certain things which will uh, create suspicion mm. Mm. With, in the minds of majority community, only that the majority community will react. Right, right. So they had to understand that. It, it, they have to understand everybody is a Sri Lankan citizen. If he is born in Sri Lanka, they, <laughs> they have equal rights, everybody. But uh, they should not do certain things, they have to understand uh, the reality when there is a, uh, it, it is whether, however, how much mm -hmm. um, society, you know, move forward or advance. So even within the so-called advanced societies, these problems are there. And of course, yeah, of course. There will always be differences between communities I mean, and, you yes. know, that's all. So that we have to understand that and live 